Hello everybody, my name is Nicola and welcome back to my channel. This is the Fugger Cottage where we talk all things we need to help you on your financial journey. Today's video is all about my dividend income for February 2021. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get started. So yes, the second month of the year has already gone by, so it's time to do an update. Now, I have had more dividend income this month than I originally thought I would. And that is because I decided to, in the middle of January, purchase some shares in a company that had announced they were doing a special dividend, which means that they are paying out a like one-off dividend back to shareholders. In fact, actually, I think I bought it in the kind of the start of February and they paid out at the end of February, but I'll talk more about that once I share that with you. So let's get started. Remember all of the dividend income that I get here is actually reinvested. I choose where it goes when I reinvest my dividends rather than have it do it automatically. That's just the process I prefer. As always, when I talk about this kind of thing on here, none of these are personal recommendations. You need to do your own research. This is just what I have in my portfolio. So the first one, to talk about I got paid by is a fund actually so the legal and general US index paid out it pays out in February and August so it's quite a good one and they paid out in February £17.98 so not a bad start that would cover my mobile phone bill and I when I talk about that I like to because I've just said that I don't actually get any of the income, it's all reinvested, but I like to kind of look at what it would pay for in terms of our fixed expenses. The second one to talk about that paid out in February is Sage Group. So I've had this holding in my portfolio, I think for like four years now. I've not actually added much to it since I made that initial investment. But again, these pay out these pay out twice a year as well, and they paid £16.98. Oh, look, two ninety-eight there. So again, a good number, and combined, you know, we're looking at it's kind of building nicely. Not, not massive numbers, I suppose, but it's doing okay. The next one that paid out is Tesco. So this is the holding that's very new in my portfolio, and pretty much... The only reason why I bought it, I mean, I've had Tesco on my watch list for a while. I also have Morrison's in my portfolio. So Tesco and Morrison's are both um, supermarket brands in the UK. And Tesco announced that they were going to pay a special one-off dividend payment to investors at the end of February. If you had invested by, I think it was the 15th. So I bought these in early February to specifically to get this dividend payment and they paid out a one-off dividend of £66.21, which is obviously a much better number, and that would pay for our water rates for the month, because again, I like to link it to different bills that we could pay. That's a one-off payment, so that's not going to happen every February, but they decided to kind of give some money back to their shareholders, so I decided to kind of get in on that. And obviously, you can see there that that now makes February look a lot better than it did before. And then the final one is Vodafone. Vodafone, again, I've had Vodafone in my portfolio almost since the beginning of starting to invest. I My mobile phone contract is with Vodafone. Obviously, they're a massive company and they paid out £19.90. So all together for February... Bearing in mind that you, you, you can see the numbers there are going to be, you know, they're okay. It's not as much as I need it to be, but it's going in the right direction. And if I can continue to build momentum like this over the year, then by the end of 2021, we should be in a much better place. So that altogether there came to £121.07 of dividend income received for February. And... If I look at that in terms of bills, that would pay kind of both of our mobile phone bills, our water rates and leave some spare, or it would nearly pay for all of our council tax bill. So I like to look at it in terms of what bills it pays because when it tips, so like all of the dividend income will pay for our fixed expenses, that's when the journey starts to then be in our favour because then we can start to put things into place, which means that it continues to play off pay our fixed expenses all the time um so yeah so it's it's looking good at the moment 
So another part of the kind of the spreadsheet that I use for dividend investing and, and tracking my dividends is this table. So this just shows you at a glance what is going on. So you can see there, so January was £155.18. I'll leave a link below to January's video if you want to watch that after this one. February is £121.07. So it's it's a good, really good, strong start to the year, especially after last year. And then I invested £600 in January and £600 in February into our early retirement portfolio, which is the one I'm talking about. I'm happy with those numbers for now. Obviously, dividends um, are kind of very up and down. At the moment, I don't think I have any dividend income in March for the first time ever because Sage Group, who I've talked about here, normally or have paid out in March every year so far until this year, which just shows that they can change dates as well um, and pay out at different times depending on what it looks like. But that is how that looks for now. And finally, this is just, I like to do graphs as well as kind of tables and things just so that I can see it. Um, again, it's a, at a glance, but a different version. So there you can see, obviously I've only got two months worth of data in there, but it's looking pretty good so far. But like I said, March is gonna be zero, I think. So I'm gonna have a big drop in the table and in the chart after March, but never mind, that's how it works. And that is what my dividend income for February 2021 looks like. And like I said, I'm really happy with how the progress is going. I'm, I, I am optimistic that by the end of this year, hopefully I will be back on track in terms of creating that dividend income stream and growing our investments so that we can retire early. I'll leave a link below to my videos on our early retirement budget and our plan for when we get there if you want to check those out after this. As always, thank you for watching. Have you received any dividend income this month? Let me know down below what you've received and how much that is. I love talking to people about dividend income and how their own journeys are going in terms of investing and creating that wealth and that extra income stream. And like I said, as always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you again very soon.